Hey everybody, um, this is my uh, uh, first video, first attempt at a video, um, and my first uh, attempt at a uh, wind turbine. Um, some people call them wind generators, I just, I never understood that term because they don't generate any wind, they're not a fan. Um, they're a turbine, they, they use the wind to create electricity. Um, so this is the, uh, what you're looking at is a rotor plate, um, just a metal plate, and I'm uh, adhering magnets to it. Um, the other part of this is a stator, and that uh, that holds the coils. Um, these coils will hover around above it, and uh, as the magnets pass over it, it'll create um, electricity, uh, as far as I understand it. Um, just a little background, I have no, um, uh, really no background in electricity. Um, this is just something I'm, I'm trying. I hope it inspires somebody who's afraid to try uh, this kind of thing uh, to try it themselves. Um, you know, maybe you'll be able to get yourself uh, off the grid or save a little bit of money on electricity. Uh, that's all I'm hoping to do with this. Um, and who knows where it goes from there. Um, these are um, uh, neodymium, I believe they're called, neodymium uh, magnets. They are extremely strong rare earth magnets. Um, they are uh, one and a half inch diameter and uh, three quarters of an inch thick. Um, the pull power is a hundred, maybe a hundred plus on these magnets. I mean, you you literally cannot get them apart. You can try to break them apart, but what happens is uh, you lose this uh, little cushion here then the magnets stick together and then you're in a world of hurt. If you have your hands in there like that when they stick together uh, there's some pinching problems, blood blisters, broken fingers, I mean you just you just don't want to mess with it and I'll show you how we uh, handle that in a little bit. But uh, plan out your workstation, you don't want to have a lot of little metal screws and screwdrivers and stuff hanging around uh, for these things to be uh, attracting. Um, so just do a little bit of planning. Uh, I'm going to show you how to separate these um, the way that I've, I've done it. And uh, what you do is you get yourself uh, these uh, Irwin uh, Quick uh, Grips. Uh, they're mostly plastic. Um, just a little metal bar here, so but it's far enough away that it doesn't cause a problem. And uh, what I like to do is I put the uh, second magnet and the cushion all the way in there. Just keep cranking it down, okay, till it's good and tight. Then you take a second one and you uh, grab the um, grab the first magnet with it. Just like that, and then you can use this as a lever, and it butts up against itself, and there you go. Okay, little spacers out. This will also give you a little bit of handling. You take that, this expose a little bit of the magnet. Okay, so now it's in there getting tight, and that will be our workstation right there. What we can do is make sure this is going down so it has to repel, which it does. Okay, because we want we want to have it be the one that sticks. I marked them, marked them with an X. They have to be aligned north, south, north, south as far as pole goes, uh, but you don't have to know which is north and which is south. You just have to know they have to be every other one. Um, so that's basically uh, as, as far as that goes. Get yourself a little uh, resin. This is a two um, part resin. Um, just put out enough to do one at a time. Uh, there's no need to try to get ahead of yourself and because uh, this stuff dries up pretty good. Um, if you have a uh, resin that um, dries a little slower, maybe you could do more with it, but uh, this is pretty quick drying. Uh, I'm a little impatient. Mix up 50-50. Um, Make sure you cover them back so they 
a little hard. Get yourself a little coffee stirs, uh, popsicle sticks, whatever you need. Um, once you start mixing, know that the drying time has started. So get that mixed up pretty good as quickly as possible. Load up your little stir and put it on your magnet. Uh, you don't need to have a real thick uh, coat on here, just a nice thin coat because mo a lot of it is going to be uh, squeezed out when you uh, put them down on the um, rotor, router, rotor, rotor. Sorry about that. So that's all you need, just a nice little, nice little um, coat. This also gives you a good hand uh, grip on it so you can have a good uh, good go at it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen fast. I got these little uh, wood blocks. They're cut to the um, to the width uh, between the magnets. I put it down on the corner here like that. Slide it into place. Hold your little uh, wood blocks down. Now it's going to track to one side or the other. You can't help that. But just keep the uh, the blocks in place and release the grip. Now it's down there. Do not let those uh, wood blocks go anywhere. Because if you do, it's going to be stuck to one of these magnets. Guaranteed. Okay. Just make sure you have it right. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. Okay, just to make sure. Now I've drawn circles on here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but uh, just center in the circle. And get your um, get your quick grip ready. Get it right on there. I mean, take your time, make sure that you got it right where you want it, because uh, once it uh, dries, you're not going to be moving it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Locks are in there pretty good. Okay, tighten it down. Then remove your blocks. You don't want your blocks adhered to the... Uh, To the rotor. Once you get more pressure on there than the uh, attraction factor, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's not going anywhere. Um, this particular uh, bonding agent cleans up with uh, rubbing alcohol. I just like to keep uh, keep the excess kind of cleaned up. I mean, I, I don't think you have to. I just, I guess I'm anal. Okay, now that one's down there. That one's down, ready to go. Uh, just give it some drying time. It says 15 minutes. You know, let it sit there for a half hour, hour, and then continue on. Do the same thing for the rest of them. Um, but that's basically uh, where I'm at right now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial, um, and I uh, I hope you watch the others. Thank you.